All right, guys, welcome back. It's time to learn about the span tag and the div tag. Now, let's start, let's start off with the span tag. Let's say we have a paragraph. So in our body tag, a new paragraph, and let's write, this is a tutorial on HTML and CSS. All right, now here's the thing. We know how to change the style of a paragraph. We can write a P selector and apply the required style. Now let's say we want to increase the font size, but this time not of the entire paragraph, but only a portion of the paragraph. Let's say we want to we want to have HTML and CSS bigger than uh, the rest of the text inside the paragraph and in a different color. Now in such a scenario, we make use of an, a tag called the span tag. All right, and here's how we use it. So we want to apply a style to only HTML and CSS. So first, we're going to wrap that text with an opening span tag and a closing span tag. And then within our style tags, we can apply a style to this span tag. So we have span as our selector and we can have font size font size let's say 28 pixels and color color let's go with light green all right now when we save it and refresh it here's the output so we have this is a tutorial on HTML and CSS, but this time we have applied the CSS or we have applied the style only to a portion of the paragraph tag. So whenever you want to apply styles to a part of an element, then we make use of this span tag. Now on the other side, we have another tag called the div tag. And div tag is short for division and it is used it is usually used to group together elements so let's say we have an h1 tag h1 and this is header 1 and let's say we have h2 this is header 2 all right now we change our mind and we decide that we want h1, h2 and the paragraph tag all to be in a color of let's say orange. So one way to do it is individually apply the orange color to h1 and then h2 and paragraph or wrap this text with a division. So a div tag. At the, at the starting you open a div tag and at the end you close the div tag and within our style within the within our style tags apply the style to our div tag so we can have color and what was the color we had in mind orange All right now when you, when you save it and refresh it so here's what happens we can apply a particular style to a group of tags using the div tag and since we have used a span tag within the div tag that is going to apply its own style within the div tag so a span tag takes precedence over the div tag and that is why we have this is header one this is header two and the paragraph in orange color but when it comes to HTML and CSS we have a different color on its own now the div tag doesn't convey any semantic meaning about it about its content like you know a p, p, p is for a paragraph and h1 is for a heading of level 1 and h2 is a level 2 heading but div the div tag is mainly used to lay out the structure of your web page so for example we can have a div for your navigation and then we have we can have a div for the main content of the web page and then a div for the footer of the web page so that way you can group together elements and apply a particular style to all of them so that's all i've got about span and div tags but make sure you you understand it thoroughly because 
these tags are going to be there's something that you're going to see a lot of when you view the uh, page source of any web page so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video